Now you see it. Now you don't. For whatever reason, it seems like in RV cabinets, there's so much unused space and it doubles as a nice, long pillow. In this video, we have got amazing hacks that are going to make your life easier, but here is the kicker. These are super cheap. These are very basic, and you could probably implement most of these right now. You're going to want to stay tuned. First up on the list is a little mod that we made back in this area. Now, what actually used to be here is a TV and we took all of the TVs out of our RV. Yes, we did. I wanted a shelf up here to be able to utilize this space because it was really empty. What we did is actually, this is a closet made shelf that we installed upside down because being upside down, it has this lip here versus coming over. That way, anything that I put up here on travel days isn't going to slide off. It was a pretty easy install. All the parts were from Home Depot. Next up on the list is this nifty little tool that I was recently introduced to. So now why I love this for RV life, small living, it like does the job of two different things. So anytime that you can like condense things down and have a smaller footprint, like it's totally your friend. So this is actually like a little cutting board and a knife all wrapped into one. You can chop all sorts of things with this and you don't have to get out a big, huge cutting board which is totally your friend when you're trying to minimize and live small. All right, so the next hack is when you bring something into your RV or tiny home, whatever it is, is get rid of unnecessary packaging. There is so much packaging that manufacturers put their items in that's really unnecessary when you bring it into your home. So perfect example is right now, I've got these two boxes of cereal here. These boxes are huge and they're taking up a lot of space in the cupboard. Let's get rid of this unnecessary packaging with the outer box and we're just gonna keep the cereal bag. Right now, it looks like this. And in just a minute, magic! The next hack is actually how to make your space feel bigger. So this is perfect for pretty much anybody and everybody that is full-time RVing or if you have a small apartment, tiny home. And that hack is to clear off any of your flat surfaces and put things away into cupboards or other areas that are not in this flat surface area. It just makes your space feel so much bigger when you have those flat surfaces cleared off of all of the clutter. Next up on the hack list is actually something that I have just found out about. This is a new hack. This is a storage pillow. What we're going to do is I always carry extra blankets in the RV because sometimes we do end up camping in colder climates and we need those extra blankets, but we don't always need the extra blankets because we're not always in cold climates or in scenarios that you need them. So. With this particular storage pillow, this is designed for things that are soft. So things like extra blankets, extra pillows. This is perfect when you are full time and you have things like hats and coats and mittens and gloves and things that you don't need year round, but you just maybe need them part of the year. So with this nice little storage pillow, I can actually put quite a bit more in here. You can store all of your extra soft items and it doubles as a nice long pillow. It's magic. So now another hack we've been loving for RV life is actually using RV to book campgrounds for us. Now we've been able to score some near impossible campsite reservations because RV is actually booking them for us. And with the annual plan, RV scans for cancellations every two minutes, finds those cancellations and makes those reservations for us. We've been seeing more and more alert services that actually charge more than RV, but only monitor sold out campgrounds. And I can't tell you how many times I've used these services in the past only to get an alert when we're out and about exploring. And by the time I get to a spot where I can book the reservation, that site is already gone. That's why we switched to using RV instead and we get more bang for our buck. Plus 
It includes their full travel agency booking services, and they'll even make a cancellation for you if for some reason you need to cancel the reservation that you made through the RV service. We've partnered with RV for a 10% discount for our viewers. Now this is an exclusive discount for Grateful Glamper viewers only. So you can go to gratefulglamper.com forward slash RV or check the link in the description below. And a huge thanks to RV for their continued support of our channel and sponsoring this video. All right, so the next hack actually has to do with folding. And that is we're gonna fold a shirt and we're gonna actually fold some of Ben's underwear. Sorry, Ben. We're gonna have to show everybody your underwear. But let's start with our shirt folding hack. Now this is a great way to be able to store a lot of shirts in a small spot. So we're gonna take one of our Experiences Over Things shirts and we are going to fold it up. So the first step is you're just going to take the very bottom part of the shirt and you're going to create kind of like a little pocket across the bottom of the shirt. Then you're going to fold it into thirds and then turn it around and just roll this up into this pocket like this and then fold it over and you have a very nice compact shirt roll now this is great for storing away things like in your rv but also if you're traveling this is a great way to be able to fit a lot in your suitcase and it stays nice and organized it's not going anywhere i can throw it at ben oh. totally fine but you can also put it in this drawer here you can see everything is nice and neat and folded very easy to get out a shirt when you need it. So the next tip, men's underwear. Now this works regardless of if you have a boxer brief style or a different style of undies. We're just gonna lay it out flat and then we're gonna fold this over the waistband. We're gonna fold it into thirds and we're gonna wrap this around, fold this over and it becomes nice, neat kind of little package. That's what she said, don't, don't you dare. So I can just put all of this in a bin and then this bin sits in our drawer, nice, neat, organized. Plus you can fit a lot more in a small space. And it's like Christmas. It's like opening a present every morning. So you'll have to let me know so far, what is your favorite? Or let me know in the comments, what are some hacks that you're using to make RV or small living easier? I would love to hear your ideas. So the next hack is when you have bins and things like that to actually label what's in them. And that way, when you see them at a glance, it's really easy to know exactly what's in that bin, especially if you're not using clear bins. So I have a label that I have put on my bin that I keep our laundry stuff in. Ben has been the master with this, with labeling all of the bins that he carries, all of our miscellaneous photography, videography, equipment, electronic stuff that is in our RV closet. So a label maker when your RV living is definitely your friend. Our next hack is using any unused space. So when we first moved into this RV, we quickly realized that we had a big, huge, unused piece of storage space, and that was actually underneath this couch. Now underneath this couch, we do have the heating vent. So if we turn on the propane furnace, this is actually where the heat comes out for those. And so the manufacturer didn't really like think about this in the sense of storage because the heating vents are under there, but there's so much more space under here than just what it needs for that duct work. The other thing was, is this whole front fascia of the couch was one solid piece. So to remove it, really didn't work well because you were pulling this huge piece out and then having to reinstall it if you wanted to access anything underneath here. So we got a little ingenious. And what we did was we actually took this off and then we cut this board in half and installed a hinge. So now we actually have a hinged kind of door that opens up so we can access underneath here. Now, this is a perfect area to store things that you aren't going to access every day, which we all have those types of items, especially if you are full-time RVing. But because this isn't an area where with our pets, it can get animal hair and dust, it's best to keep things down here that are covered. So- Ben's bins. Ben's bins. I was actually at the Dollar Tree today though, and I found Dollar Tree actually is getting some pretty exciting new things in 
now that they've raised their prices to $1.25. I found this little kind of storage cube that you could put something in if you needed to store it in a place like this where you just needed to be able to keep some dust and dirt off of it. This would be perfect. It has a cover. Obviously you wouldn't want to put anything like super heavy in here and then pick it up and carry it. But for just storing things, this can be a really good solution. We also have some things like this that we've gotten from Ikea, but use this type of space. Get a little ingenious if you have to. We like to call that RV ingenuity. So the next hack that is absolutely necessary for full-time RV small living is what I like to call a one in one out principle. That is, if we're going to bring in something new, then we have to get rid of something and something needs to leave. So one in, one out. The next hack is that if you have an RV and you have a propane oven and you're not really finding yourself using the oven part, for us, we use our convection oven more than we use our propane oven, is to actually just get rid of it. It's taking up a ton of space. And so in our case, we just installed this induction cooktop instead. You can always get the counter style induction cooktops, but we gained so much more storage underneath here with removing the propane stove that was taking up this space before. Next hack is to use shelf dividers to give yourself more covered space. Now, for whatever reason, it seems like in RV cabinets, there's so much unused space that doesn't have like shelving to really utilize all the space. So in our cabinets, that's for sure the case. So I use these shelf dividers to actually give us more storage space. You can pick these up at a lot of places. They even have ones at the Dollar Tree that you can use to expand that space. It's definitely your friend for small living. The next hack is actually a new one with Dollar Tree products. Love me some Dollar Tree. You pick up one of these cooling racks, $1.25, and then you're gonna bend it. These actually bend pretty easily because the wire framing is pretty thin. You're gonna bend it to the shape you want it. You can actually make it more narrow. You can make it more wide depending upon the cabinet space that you're working with. And then you get some of these removable hooks from the Dollar Tree. I usually pick these up in the automotive section of Dollar Tree. Got these mounted on our cabinet here, and then I'm just going to hang this here. And then I can put things like my foil, our sandwich bags, things like that into here, and it stores nice and out of the way and it gives me kind of some extra space in here because we're making use of the space. Now you see it, now you don't. Magic! So the next hack has to do with things that you maybe buy in bulk. So specifically for us with our animals, when we buy dog food and cat food, I usually actually have it shipped to wherever we're at with uh, Chewy.com. Dog food comes in a very big bag. There is absolutely no way that we have any space on the inside of the RV to keep a big bag of dog food. So these are actually from the Dollar Tree. Uh, you find this in like the kitchen storage section. So I will fill these up with our dog food, with our cat food. With Alaska, this will usually give us about two to three days worth of food for him. Um, our cats is actually almost a month's worth of food that goes in here because they just don't eat that much. And then we just go where we have the dog food stored in our storage compartments on the outside of the RV, fill this up as needed, bring it in here. But that way I can store this in places like under the sink and it's out of the way, but I don't have a big, huge bag of dog food somewhere in the way in the RV. And it's sealed so the critters don't get into it. Sealed, no ants, rodents, or whatever else. <laughs> you might end up with. So the next hack is a cool way to store all of your hair ties that are super easy to find. This is a book ring from the Dollar Tree and then you get one of those little phone pop it button things and you stick that on the inside of a cabinet door, a wall, wherever you want to. Put your hair ties on here. Super easy way to store them and to find them when you need them. So in this video, we have got really, hold on. And we've got a leaf blower if we need to just <laughs> dust off a few things. This is an, this is an, 
Look at last week's video on the leaf blower. That's for <laughs> sure. I can't talk. This is A. I speak is the English. Jeez, man. Where'd the one in go? You didn't it jump. was already there. Just yeah, trust me on this. In. Just trust me. Ben feels like that I give him a present every morning. Just unwrap it and brand that new, might, fresh, that clean could underwear. Be taken wrong. Oh, don't yeah, take don't, that wrong. Maybe don't take that wrong. Don't take that wrong. <laughs> now I'm gonna put a video right up here of 30 hacks, tricks, DIYs, mods that I know you are going to find super interesting right up here. If we don't see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the next video.